Hi, I'm Manuel, and this is Next Bite. So, COVID has made filming this show really weird, but I do have a bunch of like little places that weren't filmed long enough for like a full episode on their own. So in this week's episode, I'm gonna do like quick bites, you know? So I think that's what I'm gonna call this video. Quick bites. All right, so let's uh, start far away and then get closer to the desert. My first quick bite is going to be a place that I really like whenever I go out of town and towards the OC area. It's called Jumbi. It's more like a beverage place. It's kind of like a, those tea house, like those boba places, but it focuses more on matcha. And so they get all their matcha supply directly from a farm in Japan. So that's why I really like their, uh, their product. It tastes to me the most authentic version of matcha that I can get around here and I really like their drinks especially their um, aloe matcha and their blueberry matcha in this clip I didn't get that I got like some kind of um, special that they had but I also really like going to Junbi because they have these rice balls that I really like and it's it's worth a try uh, a lot of people have different matcha preferences for me I like this place but it's worth trying out just because they do have fresh authentically imported matcha from Japan. Some nice matcha powder sprinkle on top. Mm -mm. Alright number two is gonna be a uh, place that I filmed in San Diego and I was actually gonna add it as a second location in one of the videos but I thought I really didn't film anything for it and I was mostly just eating the dessert. It's this place called Bing House. It's right next, not next, but it's in the same plaza as the Cross Street Chicken that we went to. Bing House is, specializes in mostly like ice cream, frozen desserts. Me, I got the rolled ice cream in this clip. Uh, you can get a lot of different kinds of flavors, but me personally, whenever I see like cereal infused ice cream uh, I tend to go for it especially like cinnamon toast crunch so I saw that and I got that so take a look here is some clips from that shoot Location number three is a an actual boba shop. So this place is close to U Grill, and I was gonna do a video on that, but then COVID restrictions happened, so it's not open for the time being. I think it's a franchise, and they open up a franchise Ding Tea. Uh, they have a lot of options there. I'm not really too big on boba, so I have this place that I only go to when I go to U Grill, and I don't really go to it. Also, it's like in the La Quinta area, so it's far. I usually don't go there. But they have a wide selection of drinks, and they do have juices. Uh, they do have a Yakult option, and I love Yakult. If you've ever had Yakult, it's that little that little probiotic drink um, so they have that option but still they don't have like other like snacks or something so I only recommend it if you want to try out their tea it is a drive if you live on the opposite side of the valley but you know it's a place to go to four all right, four is to be honest in Palm Desert. A lot of people really like this place. Again, I'm not big in boba, so I don't really go there, but my siblings love going there a lot. And so this one time we went at night and I decided, hey, I'm gonna check it out. I've only been there once and I do like their galaxy drinks. Their galaxy drinks look pretty, they taste pretty good. I decided in this clip 
that I was gonna get I think it was like a citrus like a citrus tea and it tasted really good but it did taste like rinds like the orange peel and like lime so Oh, I mean, I liked it, but I think I would would have liked it a lot more if it was carbonated. So once again, I'm not really big on like like boba shops or like tea stuff, but it is worth a try. They got like a really big menu now. Before I, I went there when they first opened, and their menu was like ten items. Now it's like a whole bunch of stuff. So it's worth trying now just to see what they got. And they do have popcorn chicken, which to me makes it feel like more authentic to the tea houses that I used to go to during college. Now I got number five. Number five is a place I went to for the first time today and I think I'll go there more often. It's a place in Palm Springs called Ernest Coffees. Now Ernest Coffee, I guess is my sister's favorite coffee shop in Palm Springs. So I decided to go with her and you know what? I really like it. I like it a lot. I got a, um, I think it's a lavender mint matcha latte and guys, I think it tastes really good. They have like three other specialty. They got normal stuff like American lot Americanos and uh, cappuccinos and stuff. But their like specialty drinks look really good. So next time I'm gonna try another one. But that's not it. They also have baked goods there. They have a Danish. Now me personally, I like a cream cheese Danish a lot. Uh, I, I have like an obsession with cream cheese. I really like it. But they had like an apple cinnamon. Danish and then they had a cherry Danish. Uh, the cherry one was alright, but the apple cinnamon one. It's really good. I like their their Danish consistency. It's kind of it's kind of flaky, but not too. It's like a croissant. Danishes are kind of like a croissant, so I like it because it's not as flaky as a croissant. So it's just really good, really fresh. And I don't know. I like I like going to like a local cafe, and it's really hard to find one that's actually like really good. And I think I like Ernest Coffee, so I really recommend that spot. Just try it out. It's in like Northern Palm Springs. If you drive real quick, you'll miss it. So keep an eye out for that when you're on the road. Ernest Coffee's in Palm Springs. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, you already know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe down below, and don't forget to check out what we're having on our next bite. Okay, peace.